My name is Lakin Epelous, and I'm a senior at the Zuni High School, and we'll be graduating in the class of 2022. Halfway there, we got five minutes remaining. I feel like that was probably one of the most engaging experiences I've had in high school, or in school in general. And especially being given the opportunity to express my creative ideas in an environment where everyone has an open mind. Give me a piggyback. <laughs> my name is Grace. I'm a senior at Siembra Leadership High School, and my capstone is Humans of Burke. Okay, we got it standing. I got to come up with this idea on my own pitch it, and then run with it. I set up the structure. I guide them through the structure. I guide them through all of the pieces that they need. But once we get to the product, to the solution, now I'm on the sidelines. So I want us to really quickly go to our concept mapping over here very quickly. And I would like us before we leave today to choose one of these to work on for next week. So we have... So over the course of the next two months, it's an odyssey. Then we have the school curriculum does not support education on indigenous land sovereignty. And then there's outside ignorance of ancestral territory versus reservation boundaries. Because remember, in here, we don't tell people what to do. We observe, we find a problem, we identify it, and we develop a project for it, something that we can do. And it has unknown points of destination, and I think that's what's exciting about it. We will be working very hard between here and when we present the capstone, which will probably be about the third week of May. It's been a lot of my inspiration of like doing interviews because like I didn't ever have like a drive for social media or stuff like this but doing this like kind of like interviews where it's not like focused on me it's focused on everybody else yeah I like that Grace was working on humans of Burke she had a lot of big questions and here at Siembra we don't have classrooms it's just kind of a big open space it's really a one-room schoolhouse Jalen. If you were to be asked a random question, like about anything, what would you want to be asked? Like, like think it's a of good question to ask. Yeah, like okay. thinking of like asking like downtown during art walk. And Grace was like, Jalen, we need you. And so he came over, um, and we were bouncing big ideas off of each other about humans of Burke and what that could look like and how to potentially set up the interview process. Well, one of her ideas was what makes Albuquerque home, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. I was going to say, something like, uh, I was going to ask you. Like, why, why, is, why, why do you choose to stay in Albuquerque? Where do you see Albuquerque going? You can ask people, like, where do I go to get the best burrito? Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's hard to beat Cecilia. And I could see her, you know, her eyes light up and like, oh, like she had all these cool ideas about it. Since Western society has influenced the Pueblo, you put them in the classroom, you, you put them in four walls, it kind of limits their ability to interact with the world. Do you mind filling out a survey real quick? What's that? A survey? A survey what? Um, our capstone project. Just a few questions. Okay. Yeah, all right, thank you. The survey is critical to the capstone because that's part of their research and research is critical and and also because the community should be a part of this. And so we're trying to find ways to implement the basic language and knowledge of our culture, especially incorporating community members to have that engagement. And we also feel that this will this will have the students be more engaged in school. It'll be it'll have meaning to them. The capstone for us is especially critical because students really engage in this project because they are allowed to explore their culture, their history, their language, and to use all of those things in their capstone project, which makes them immensely proud when they begin, when they finally present to their parents and to the community. My dad told me one time, he said, you know, there's words in our prayers that nobody knows the meanings to anymore. 
And even now, our older generation is dying off and they're taking that, that knowledge with them. I'm being provided with another opportunity to, to reach out to my community. And when those opportunities arise, I, I take advantage of them. Okay, we made copies. Did your help warming up, Marga? Because I'm gonna have to like, not like that, like talking to people. I've always had this as a philosophy, as a teacher. It's like give students time, opportunity, and choice and they will blow you away. As we get people's permission, just put them on the bottom. I'm a scribbly mess. Do we have any other tripods? For... I'm nervous. I think I'm gonna like stand on the corner somewhere. <laughs> I'm not a shy person unless it is a stranger, which is really funny because this is my business, is talking to strangers. What's something you wish you could change about Albuquerque? Where do you want to see Albuquerque in five years? When you think of Albuquerque, what do you think? I might pull a table out of the school and set it up in front of the school really quick. Just the confidence in her, she really struggled with traditional school and like sitting still and taking tests and you know most of our students are in that same boat. I wish the school had textbooks but at the same time that's what makes it so cool is that we don't have textbooks. But I would like the thickness of the textbooks right now. Once she was able to like grab onto this platform and run with it, it's been amazing, like the amount of communication and research and reading and writing that she's been able to do with it is like mastery level English curriculum. It's not just like textbooks and quizzes, it's going out and working on, the, like working on helping our community and learning what our community has to offer. I always knew he was gifted, I knew he was brilliant, but I didn't realize that he had this interest in fashion. I had Do I smile there? <laughs> so the garment construction team's guiding question, as I can remember it, is how can we relate traditional garment construction to the preservation of tribal sovereignty? Well, for me personally, I feel like this, my part of the project was important because not a lot of um, people within my community possess the knowledge and experience of constructing garments or um, sharing stories. So I feel like through these projects, we'll be able to give our youth the opportunity to gain this knowledge and gain this experience. What's in a wash elegant Remember, it's not makina. Makina. We work as a collective. And that is critical to us as Indigenous people because it's never been about the I. And so particularly with the Ashwe core values and where we will help one another, we will listen to one another, we will gu provide guidance and counsel to one another. So they wanted to create a class and they actually wrote a whole curriculum for this class along with a website so that there could be a class here for Zuni students to create their own regalia and then take that power with them and then be able to then, you know, pass that on to generations. Wait, wait, let me get Kristen. This might be, wait, Kristen, look. I would rather set my own goals and expectations and take initiative to develop my own project rather than have someone come in and give me these numbers and prompts that have no connection to my identity or culture. Okay. <laughs> okay, your turn I again. have seen the change in him in just this semester. Let me get yours because for your um that introduction slide. At a, a lot of other schools, specifically traditional schools, students will ask, "When am I ever going to use this? When do I need this?" And that question is never asked here because we're solving and contributing positively to community issues. So you're using it now. You're using it today. So if they ever were to say, when are we ever going to use this? I'd say right this second and from now on for the rest Hi. of your life. Hello. Are you guys interested in being in an interview for my senior project? What are you interviewing? I'm interviewing people about Albuquerque. So 
I'm basically. That's perfect. I guess I am learning more about like what I want to do and who I want to become. Because I want this to become like something bigger after high school. But I think hearing people's stories and like hearing their excitement about it, that, that brings me more confidence. So through this, I realized the importance of collaboration and connecting with people outside of my comfort zone. You are extraordinary people to be doing what you're doing and a project that you're doing. And I applaud you. I appreciate you. Best wishes to you and good luck in the future. Ella, come. What made you smile today? Can you put this on? Here, I'll hold those. Cool.